in this video, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung case 2 ng ating algebraic substitution. So, for our case 2, if the integrand contains fractional powers of a plus bx only, then we can use z raised to n equals a plus bx, where n is the LCD of the fractional exponents of a plus bx. So, tandaan natin yung a plus bx, punta na agad tayo sa example. Okay, so for number 2, let's find the integral of the quantity 4x plus 3 times square root of 1 plus 2x. So, bakit tayo number 2 nagsimula? Kasi yung number 1 ay na-discuss na yan sa nakaraang lesson natin, yung para sa case 1. Okay, so ito ay para sa case 2. So, dito alin yung a plus bx natin? So, ito yung a plus bx natin, yung 1 plus 2x. Kasi ito yung merong fractional exponent which is square root or 1 half. Okay? So, for our solution, ilalet natin z to be equal to square root of 1 plus 2x. Then, kunin natin yung square ng both sides. So, magiging z squared equals 1 plus 2x. Tapos, isosolve natin yung x in terms of z. So, lipat natin yung 1 sa kabila. So, z squared minus 1. And then, divide natin both sides by 2. So, magiging z squared minus 1 over 2. So, yun yung magiging x natin. Tapos, kunin natin yung derivative both sides. So, dito, magiging, ano yung derivative na ito? z squared over 2. That is 1 half. Then, derivative ng z squared, that is 2z. Then, derivative ng negative 1 half, 0 lang. So, 1 half 2z dz. Which is equal to, ano yung 1 half times 2, makakancel, z dz na lang. So, eto yung ating dx. Okay. So, okay tayo para sa x and dx. And then, next, so yan yung isa substitute natin dito sa original natin. Okay, so magiging ano na siya? 4 times, ano yung x natin ito? z squared minus 1 over 2 plus 3. Okay, and then square root of 1 plus 2. So, yun ulit, z squared minus 1 over 2. Okay, and then dx. Ano yung dx natin? Yung z dz. Okay, so next, simplify natin, 4 divided by 2, so that is 2, distribute natin dito, so magiging 2z squared minus 2 plus 3. Okay, so negative 2 plus 3, that is plus 1. Okay, so next, dito naman, cancel yung 2. So, may matitira tayong z squared minus 1. Eh, yung z squared minus 1 pa plus pa sa 1. So, ano, anong matitira? Z squared yung nasa loob. Tapos, naka square root. So, ano yung square root ng z squared? That is z. Tapos, z dz. Okay? So, z squared. May z squared tayo. Distribute natin dito. So, magiging 2z raised to 4 plus z squared. So, kunin natin yung derivative nyan, that is 2z raised to 5 over 5 plus z cubed over 3 plus c. Or, balik natin sa dati yung z, ano yung z, yung square root. Okay? Or, yung square root kasi na yan ay 1 plus 2x o, uh, raised to 1 half. Okay? So, gawin na lang natin siya exponential. So, 2 over 5, yung z, that is 1 plus 2x. Then, exponent niya 5. So, 5 over 2. Yung nasa numerator ay 5. Okay? So, same dito. 1 third. Uh, yung z, that is 1 plus 2x. And then, raise to 3 over 2 plus c. Okay? 